What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. I guess y'all heard the news that George Zimmer has been found not guilty. And I think it's bullshit. I'm, free, I'm furious about it because one thing is that all this ev evidence that's proved, well, they say, well, the prosecutor didn't show enough evidence, but it's like it's, it's questions that still hasn't been answered. They keep, like, the the the, 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 the the fence kept tiptoeing around the whole situation about oh was Zimmerman following Trayvon and oh why didn't he like why didn't he stay in his car and wait for the police to get there and anything like that and the head wound didn't look right on him and I actually thought about some questions too it's like well the prosecutor came up with one said how come they didn't find blood on Trayvon's hand why did they use this excuse oh just oh it was raining still if it was raining outside you would still find blood on Trayvon's hands of Zimmerman's there was no DNA of Trayvon there was no DNA of Zimmerman on Trayvon Martin no evidence no evidence of Trayvon on Zimmerman except for the blood that came from Trayvon after he's been shot. Now I've said before, if they, if he, if Zimmerman ever walks free, that he, that Florida is going to be the next California, and it's going to be worse, and it is just because of that. The, I know Trayvon's parents said, "Oh, Pete, don't riot. Fuck that. There's going to be a riot because of what happened. There's going to be a riot because that happened because nobody." asked the right question the evidence wasn't presented like it should have and it makes you wonder who's getting paid off because like I said in two of the videos I did uh, two of the videos I did it's like why oh it's just so it's, I'm just so fucked up about it because one thing is there was nothing the evidence the, the, the evidence kind of makes you wonder why did he follow Trayvon? Why did he just wait until the police got there? That's the question. But he didn't wait. He it just I don't get it, man. I I just don't get it, man. That that this man got away with murder. This man just got away with killing kids. And I said before, if this man walks free, it's showing the world that, A, anybody can kill somebody and claim self-defense. And that's how it is. And that's how it is. People can sit up there and shoot somebody and oh, it was self defense. And this man just got away with killing some kid. Y'all can sit up I know there's gonna be some people. Oh, but he was a football player. It doesn't matter if he was a football player or not. He still killed a child no matter which way you look at it. Oh, uh, it was self defense, my ass. It was no self-defense, cause there's no way in hell you can sit up there and say, "Oh, he was fine, so he shot him for self-defense." How you gonna shoot somebody? And then turn around and say, "Oh, that was self-defense." So people saying I can walk up to somebody and I can shoot them and claim, "Oh, that was self-defense," even though I shot the person, the person was unarmed. Is that what it is? I can shoot somebody and claim self-defense. I can walk up to a police officer, shoot him and say, well, he was attacking me and I shot him in self-defense. That still wouldn't make it right no matter what. Trayvon didn't have a weapon on him, but he's... I, 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 I don't get it. The head wounds showed that the, the head wounds didn't make no sense to the the stories that Zimmerman gave. 
He said that I'll show you the and I'll show you this. He, Zimmerman said Trayvon was banging his head against the sidewalk. Now if his head was been banged against the sidewalk, he would have had a bigger wound on the back of his head. And that's how it is. The wound would have been a little bit bigger and he would have had stitches on the back of his head. And that's how it was. But none of that was even brought. And how come? This is one question. The bloody nose. Now, the question is this. If Trayvon punched him in his face, how come his knuckles wasn't bruised? I want to say what you, what you mean. What I mean is this. If you get in a fight with somebody, your hands would be bruised up because of the hits that you threw, that you threw a hit on somebody's face. So you would have bruised up your knuckles. And that's how it was. And they didn't they didn't see that, they didn't even bring it up. They didn't even find no DNA under Trayvon's nails to see if if he scratched Zimmerman or nothing. Oh, he was, but like I said, man, only, four, like it pissed me off. Cause like I said, only four people stood up for Trayvon, his mama, his daddy, and his brother, and his friend, and his friend Rachel. Why did only four people take up for Trayvon, but everybody else set up on the Oh, share defense, share defense, share defense. Self-defense, man. And the witness they called up wasn't even there. They stayed in the house, and they called 911. So how can you sit up there and say it was self-defense? That's the question. How can you sit up there and say, oh, he was defending himself, but you didn't see what happened. You didn't see what happened, man. That's what, that's what doesn't make no sense. All these witnesses are being called to stand, and they say they seen this, they seen that. And, and it's like, how, like you said earlier, you didn't... We, when you talk to the police, you say you didn't see nothing then. And it's just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. All these people that sit up on a witness stand. Oh, this and this, this and this, this and this. I, I didn't see nothing. I was didn't, even they said it on the stand. I didn't see what happened. But I heard a lot of screaming. And that's how it is. And, <laughs> and, I, and I'm pissed off that this, this happened because... It just made no sense. And there's people going to Twitter, Tumblr, outraged about this, even Facebook. And I can say, they can sit there and say, well, they can't try him for double jeopardy. They can't try him. Bullshit. Because I can say this, they can't, they can say, oh, they, they can't try Zerman for the murder of Trayvon. That's bullshit. And I'll tell you why. Back in the 90s, back in the 90s, Suge Knight was tried as, was tried as a, the murder of Tupac, was tried as for the murder of Tupac, and then they acquitted him because they didn't have nothing on Suge Knight. Go back to last year, 2012, they actually charged, prosecuted, and sentenced Suge Knight for Tupac's murder. Back in the 90s, they couldn't. Back in the 90s, 
they acquitted Suge Knight for the murder of the murder of uh, Tupac. But in 2012, he was prosecuted and got life in prison for Tupac's murder. Which made no sense. Makes no sense about this because I'm sitting here. I was like, how can anybody support this man? It's like people supporting And I've actually, I've actually did, there's people, and when I started doing the videos about it, I, I, like, uh, there's videos uh, I did because Zimmerman broke in those photo. There's one person, there's people saying this motherfucker lied. He killed the guy for his color and got mad besides to kill. I've had people comment on the videos that I did about the whole case. Like one person said, uh, like I said, this video was done month like last year, and this person writes, uh, once again, the story is swept under the rug because of race. So I believe Zimmer is going to probably walk or get a lighter sentence with this. I hope he rots in jail personally, but we know what's going on here. This sounds like shit. If this did take this long to prove, prove a picture of a man of a black man this was thrown out yeah like I agree it's just I hope people know uh, well it's a, it, it is like another person said George Zimmerman is a racist KKK killer and a liar he hunted and shot Trayvon like a deer even actually deers box their hunter kudos to Trayvon George Zimmerman's no new fake blood photoshop picture as a dumb disgrace it will fool no sane jury shame these are the people that actually comment on this shit and I'm sitting up here looking at all these people sitting up here thinking ahead of time that he was going to be prosecuted and I'm sitting up here pissed off because he walks he walks because of what? Oh, they had no evidence. Because how can they when think about it? It it makes no sense, man. It makes no sense that this kid dies for no good. Dies for what? Cause he walked to the fucking store and got him a bag of Skittle and a can of iced tea. And now I did a video about the Westminster. Uh, what was it? The West Memphis Three and the uh, Central Park Six. How come when the Central Park Six, six, six men of color, five blacks and a Latino, was accused of beating and raping a white woman in Central Park, but found out, found out. While these six people was, while the uh, Central Park Six was sent up in prison, somebody was arrested and it was put in one of the cells with one of the six. And he bragged, oh, I raped and beat that girl. Somebody, this guy was locked up in one of the Central Park Six actually confessing he raped and beat that girl. And you know what happened? They after that they went back to trial and found all six of them not guilty of rape and beating that girl. Because you know why? Because they looked at these people because the color of the skin. This is up in New York, dude. Up in, up in uh, New York City. New York City. And. and I'm sitting up first like, what the hell? 
you put six black people no you put five black guys and a latino in prison because of something that they didn't do this is oh man i just don't get it this is and, and i'll tell you this there's one comment somebody left on a vrd he said how the hell does he get out he lied to the cops about the story then the cops lied he needs to be shot he killed a kid racial profile there was a comment that was left on my video one of my videos a year ago about that whole there was Zimmerman get out of jail free card look that video up and you'll see that comment and, I, and like I said, I don't get. It. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write. The, I'm gonna tell you this comment somebody wrote a year ago, and another one says, uh, "Zimmerman charged for murder." If you look at the video, dude, can can we can we wait until the trial to start have having debate about what is or what isn't a fact? All we know right now is that he shot the dude. That's it. We know nothing else. Everything else is pursuit of suspect conjunction. What it is doing, however, making it like well, forget that. I'm sorry about that. It, it's not even fair that this 17 year old gets killed because he was walking to his father's house. He walked to his father's, he was walking home to his father's house from the store. And and I don't get, I don't I just. And I'll, I'll tell you this: a friend of mine actually commented on another uh, comment on a video. Said, "Generally, if you're if you get your nose broken and I fight, there's going to be blood on your shirt." But I didn't see any. I didn't see any bruises from being hit in the face on the black on the back of his head from having his head on the concrete. I had no. Cause, and I agree with my friend. You know the reason why. Because like I said before, if Trayvon hit it, Zimmerman in the face, his knuckles would have been swollen. His knuckles would have been swollen from beating on Zimmerman. But they didn't see that. That wasn't even brought up. They didn't even check to see if that happened. But they still let this man walk. And like I said before, from... uh from the giga I say if this man wants it's going to be another Rodney King incident you remember back in 92 Rodney King gets beaten because he was drunk and he was in the suburbs the police pulls him out and beat on the four white police as he got beaten somebody recorded it they took it to trial and what happened they let the four police officers walk they go quitted them and what happened? That whole state went crazy. Because of what? Because they let four white guy, four not four white police officers walk because of what? They beat a black man's ass. And it's going to get worse because it happened in Florida and it's a southern state and you know how racist southern states get. And I'm quick. I'm questioning three friends of his. This is Frank Taffy, Joe Oliver, and Mark Oldsman. How come Frank Taffy and Joe Oliver's been in the media more than ever? And Joe Oliver. Now Joe Oliver, I actually brought it up in a video. Why would anybody? quit their job, stop supporting his family, just support somebody that killed a child. And this man's got kids. Joe Oliver's got kids. He's black and he got kids and he st quits his job. I'm going to support somebody that kills kids. Same with o Mark Oldsman. He wears a badge and he said, oh, he went on Dr. Phil. If you look up Dr. F if you look up the video of Dr. Phil, the episode where he was on Dr. Phil, he actually says, I picked the gun out for Zimmerman and I was proud that he killed Trayvon. What man of what man of the law would say that I'm glad he killed Trayvon? What man what officer of the law would sit there and say, 
I'm glad he killed a child. It's like saying to the police officer, I'm glad he raped the child. And he still questions, how come nobody questioned? How come only four people testified for Trayvon? His mother, his father, his brother, and his friend. Only four people testified for, him, for Trayvon. Nobody else. Now you see Trayvon's family with Jamie Foxx. How come I always seen Jamie Foxx and a few other few other celebrities wearing a t-shirt with Trayvon's face on it but mostly Jamie Foxx now he's supporting this like it was his own child that got killed in the last video I did I even posted posted a link to Dick Gregory's video when he was at a rally in March of 2012 giving out the information and evidence how come they his parents didn't know he was dead for three days Trayvon's parents didn't know he was dead for three days you tell me something I don't know how come they did a blood how come they did a drug an alcohol test on Trayvon's body but not on Zimmerman just to see because one thing is in every case a murder case you're supposed to test you're supposed to test the person the suspect if they got drugs in their system or if they got alcohol in their system they didn't even test Zimmerman how come they didn't test Zimmerman if he had any narcotics or alcohol in his system or liquor they didn't test none of that They ain't test none of that. I don't get that. How come they didn't test them to see if he had any of that shit in the system? Now, I'm going to show you. Now, you see that red. Now, you see that yellow tarp in the back. You see how far that yellow tarp is from the sidewalk now? If his body is that far. If that's Trayvon's body. If his body is that far away from the sidewalk. How did Zimmer's head get? How did Zimmer's head end up looking like this? I, that's one thing I don't get. That's one thing I don't get. Do you see Zimmer's head? That's Trayvon's body. See how far away Trayvon's body is from the sidewalk? And they found his cell phone further away. Now it's awfully funny. They found his cell phone further away from Trayvon's body. Now. I don't get that. They found Trayvon's cell phone further away from his body. And they find Trayvon's body further away from the sidewalk. But they still find this man innocent. Why? Wow, how? What? What? I, I don't get. I you know, I'm 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 watching cases on like forty eight hours and all like that. And they be, I'm sitting there watching, they be getting white folks like it ain't nothing. If a white person kills a white person, they get them just like that. Same if it was a black person, just like that. That's new, usually up up in the northern states, but. I look at the crime, I look at the photos like Trayvon's body, that's his body. How come his, his body is laying on his front and his hands are tucked under him? See, it's hands is close to his body Zimmer said he pulled his arms out just to see what he got in his hand if you heard the police call it looks like he he said oh it looked like he got something in his jacket cause you know every like you know if you look at the pullover hoodies they got that pocket in the front he had candy and a canned drink in that pocket that's what's pulling on the front of his jacket was that candy and that fucking can of drink. It was profiling and people still people still looked at it like like oh Trayvon he's a not, not, I'm, not, I'm still kind of questioning still kind of questioning how come they can how come people are comparing Tray, Trayvon's being Suspended from school 10 days to George Zimmerman's rap sheet. I, I, that's one thing I'll get. 
Jimmy's been locked up for resisting arrest and beating on his ex fiance. But they look to Trayvon. Oh, he's been kicked out of school for fighting. Trayvon's the aggressor. Are you telling me that Zimmerman beating on a woman is not being aggressive? Think about it. How you gonna sit there? Oh, Trayvon's the aggressor. But George Zimmerman was beating on a woman and he was listening to an arrest from a police officer. And he's been booked several times by the Stanford, Stanford Police Department. Several times on calls that has been made out on him. How can you compare that to Trayvon? Trayvon don't have a police record. But Zimmerman does. How the hell does that work out? It's because his daddy got money. It's because Zimmerman's daddy got money. That's a question. That's like, all this makes no sense. Now, like I said, if he, if George Zimmerman wants, then somebody's going to kill his ass. And, and the way... Uh, and the head wound, like the head wound again, the head, the head wound again. If Trayvon was banging his head, banging Zimmer's head against the sidewalk, now the way you would have had his head and you hitting your, hitting his head on the sidewalk, your hands would probably hit the sidewalk too several times, making it bruise up too, because your hands is hitting. But if he's hitting his head, banging Zimmer's head against the sidewalk, wouldn't he? Wouldn't Zimmer need stitches? But when they had the doctor up, he said he only needed two band-aids. It seems like something else was used. Like, if you looked at the video where Zimmerman was booked into the police department, I didn't see no blood from his head. I didn't see no blood bleeding from the nose. After they showed the police tape of him getting booked, and there was no blood coming out from his head or nose. A few days later, they showed these two pictures. Like, where did these pictures come from? They showed the, the police showed these pictures after they showed the video of him getting booked. Now it's kind of odd they would they would do that, and you see it if you look in this picture and you see in the background. That's a police car. And that's that's a police computer right there. Right behind Zimmerman. Why like I said, why do they wait after showing Zimmerman getting booked? They show these two pictures. Why? I think something was going on. There's things that never matched up that I don't get. Zimmerman told three types of stories. He told one story at the crime scene when the police got there. He told another story when they was interrogating him in the room. In the police department. Different story. Then he told another story in the reenactment of the walkthrough. And he already lied about Trayvon hiding behind some bushes and everybody seen there wasn't no bushes. The man then lied several times. The man sat up there and said this and this and this and this, which the evidence didn't match up, but he still won't. How does that work out, man, that this man lied so much to the police that he still want you tell me what I'm missing I think some people was paid off if I was the defense attorney taking up for them if I was the def somebody came and said hey would you take this case about the Trayvon Martin case I would have said hell no I would not take that case because my life is more important than getting shot up over some boo boo the fool uh, wanna be Batman? Then he said he they don't wanna he Jeremy didn't wanna admit that he was finally Trayvon. You called the police and told him. I was, that's one thing I didn't get either. Why was so many people trying to push that hole? He followed Trayvon, but 
people trying to push that trying to push that and it's like oh he didn't follow the right they act like they didn't like they act like that whole thing was nothing they act like that whole when the this dispatch tell them don't fuck we don't need you to follow him they they say that ain't nothing that ain't nothing so if a police officer came up don't follow him they just push they act like that police officer didn't say nothing and there's been several witnesses that got up on that stand and said it straight off the back at the beginning of the trial. They said if you do a neighborhood watch, all you need is a cell phone and people to go with you when you go around the neighborhood and you watch. You don't need nothing else. How come there was nobody with Zimmerman when he did that so people can back up his claim that that happened? That's one thing that would have been questioned. How come nobody didn't go with him? His wife didn't go with him. His parents didn't go with him. So how did we know he was telling the truth tonight? He said he was. He, he didn't say he was by himself. He well he well in the way he kind of did say he was by himself. And two, like I said, two people stayed in the media more than ever. And that was Joe Oliver and Frank Taffy. Frank Taffy knew more about what happened. Same with Joe Oliver. Same with Mark Oatsman. They knew more about what happened that night than anybody else. Mark Oatsman said he got a phone call from Zimmerman and he came out there to comfort Zimmerman's wife. Why would you come out to a crime scene to see what your friend did? Why would you write down everything your friend did and put it in a book? and make money off of it. That's not a friend. Then you got one friend going up on TV and staying in the media more than ever. Got another friend quit, stop supporting his family by quitting his job and going to the media. Joe Oliver's been caught in a lie. On national TV, we went on CNN, they caught his bitch ass in a lie. I still don't get it. All this information going out, man, and people, oh, he's innocent. He's innocent. So you telling me if a fucking priest rapes a child in front of you, you still say he's innocent? I guess so if people will sit up and say, well, Zimmerman's innocent. Well, he just shot a kid. He's not innocent. And people still say, oh, he's 17 years old, he's this tall, he this, he weighs this much. In the eyes of the law, motherfuckers, the eyes of the law, Trayvon's still a minor. Doesn't matter. If he's 17 or 16, he's still a minor. And that's how it is. He's still a minor under the, under the eyes of the law. Which means he killed a child. He's a child killer. It falls right under the laws of child abuse, child neglect, and child molestation. It falls right under those laws. If we have laws to protect kids, and we have laws to protect ourselves, how come this man kills a minor and gets away with it by saying self-defense? Still don't get it. So when he kills Trayvon Martin, you just said, like I'm telling you, the jury, all six or twelve women, or whatever, six or twelve, all of them just told the world it's okay for anybody to molest, rape, murder abuse any child that's how I see it because if I was on that jury I would have said it from the get go guilty nothing's gonna change my mind all the evidence right there I would have been questioning everything that came in front of me how come this and 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 this how come he didn't do all this and 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 this I would have still would have kept it guilty, 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 
I don't care. He's guilty. Y'all can sit up there and kiss his ass all you want. He's guilty. He killed a child. It would have been your child too. And the one thing that made me, and one thing is about this trial that made me think was this. There was a movie called A Time to Kill. It was a book and it was a movie too. And I was watching, uh, and I was talking to my people. I said, this trial reminds me of A Time to Kill. If you ever heard of a time, ever seen the movie or saw the, read the book, it was about a little girl walking to the store, or you I mean, well, a young black girl walking to the store getting raped by two racist white people. It was in the book, I didn't write it, about two, two racist white dudes stop and rape this little black girl while walking from the store, while walking from the store. The, pol the police chief that was also black anxious, well that's, this is in the movie too said well the police chief went to go arrest them for rape and they was getting they just got off the two racist white dudes just got off for raping a girl and the father of that little black girl killed them too killed the two racist white dudes and Matthew McConaughey, when his closing statement, he told the story. He says, think, close your eyes. Think of a little girl walking from the store, 12 years old. Walking from the store. They throw a can at her. They knock her down. They rape her. They tie her up in a tree. The tree branch broke. They rape. They, she couldn't bear kids because they raped her so badly. Now think of that little girl being white and it fucked that whole jury up. This whole trial remind me of that movie and that book, A Time to Kill. For real. And y'all cannot sit up say, sit up and say that that movie and that book did not remind you of this case. This case did not remind you of that movie. Well, people can say, oh, it's not about race. It's not about race. Well, if you live in the southern state and shit like this happened, it is about race. Well, I look at it, it's not about race, but it is about race. And that's how it is. You got to look from both sides. You got to look in every other, every angle of the situation. He followed this kid. He lied about the kid jumping out of bushes, which there was no bushes. And he shot the kid. He said the kid beat him up. Which the wounds didn't match up. And one thing that really threw me off was. He said Trayvon. It's like the gun was in his back. Behind his back. He said the gun was behind Zimmerman's back. In a holster. Now Zimmerman was laying on his back. If Zimmerman's laying on his back, how did how can Trayvon reach for the gun? Cause he was laying, cause Zimmerman was laying on the gun. See what I'm saying? And it makes you question: so How can he reach for the gun if Zimmerman was laying on the gun, and they didn't find Trayvon's? Fingerprints landing on the gun, but how did he reach for the gun if Zimmerman was laying on it? That's one thing I don't get. How, like, for, like for real? Like for real? That not, I, I, I don't get that. How can Trayvon reach for the gun if Zimmerman was laying on it? And Zimmerman's wife. Zimmerman's wife, Zimmerman and his wife lied about having money. That wasn't even brought up. Which I didn't understand. It's like his wife stole money, so did Zimmerman, but they probably won't bring. That's probably another trial, but I'm telling you, man, this stuff don't match up. I, I, I think he, I think somebody was paying off a jury member or something. Because there's no way in hell. A man killing a child would have gotten off scot-free. 
That's something else. That's something else. I think somebody fucked up besides the prosecutor. I don't think it was on the prosecutor's phone. Maybe they was dragging their feet, but somebody was getting paid under the tables to say guilt, not guilty. But ladies and gentlemen, this is, I'm telling like, just tell me what you think in a video response or a, or a comment. Make sure you show everybody this video, or if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. This has been, uh, follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on the Tumblr. Follow me on, uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Tell me what you think. I think German is still guilty, no matter which way or what. But some, but something's went wrong in that case, that trial, because the witnesses lined on the stand step for uh, only, f and it's awfully funny. Like I said, it's it's funny. Only four people took up for Trayvon. That was his mother, his father, his brother, and his friend. You got a question? Why did only four people took up for Trayvon, but nobody else? You got to question it. And how ca how can Trayvon? Reach for Zimmerman gun as Zimmerman was laying on on the ground. And Zimmerman's getting head was getting bashed into the sidewalk. It would have been a bigger wound. His head would have been split open. He would have been knocked out unconscious with some contusion. He wouldn't be able to shoot Trayvon. Think about it. And for the people that are sitting up there supporting Zimmy, y'all ain't nothing but some pedophiles in any fucking way. Y'all should be shot in your fucking head too. Now that's fucked up. And I'll tell you this. I bet you sometime soon you will hear there's a riot down in Florida. And something and you probably hear somebody didn't kill Zimmy because of what happened. It's not gonna be me, because I ain't stupid enough to do that shit. But you'll hear it. Somebody gonna get killed down there. And y'all gonna hear about it because how that court system did that whole trial. This has been Afro Joe 10, like TA is for. Like I said, follow me on Tumblr, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channels, tell me what you think. I think it's just a big mistake to let this man walk. Peace, love, and I don't even know no more.